हेलो एवरीवन साई राम वेलकम बैक टू द साइंस क्लास सो चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द साइंस रिवीजन ओके सो फॉर एस ए टू एग्जाम यू हैव फोर लेसन्स ओके दैट इज लेसन नंबर लेवन द लाइट साउंड एंड फोर्स लेसन नंबर थर्टीन द अर्थ लेसन नंबर फोर्टीन the sun moon and stars and lesson number 15 is the air water and weather okay so let's start yes question number 1 fill in the blanks here four options are there for each question and you have to choose the right answer okay so question number 1 the sun gives dash to the earth and the options are heat and light air and water animals and plants and option d is none of this yes so sun gives dash to the earth yes the right answer is heat and light sun gives us heat and light so i am putting a tick on option a that is heat and light okay in the exam you are going to do the same in the exam you are going to click on the right answer okay so question number 2 loud and unpleasant sound is called dash and the options are music song noise and all of this so children un loud and unpleasant sound is called yes yes it's called it's called noise okay so i am putting a tick on option c okay that is noise loud and unpleasant sound is called noise now question number 3 dash is the middle layer of the earth and the options are crust core mantle and air now tell me children what which is the middle layer of the earth crust core mantle or earth air yes the right answer is mantle that is option c so i am putting a tick on option c that is mantle okay crust is the outer layer of the earth then mantle is the middle layer of the earth and core the center of the earth is called core okay that is the inner layer of the earth so the right answer is mantle that is option c yes now question number 2 choose the correct answer here four options are there for each question and you have to choose the right answer okay so let's start question number 1 which among these is a source of light okay and the options are sun flame bulb and all of this tell me children which among these is a source of light yes the right answer is all of this okay so i am putting a tick on option d remember children here i am putting a tick but in the exam you are going to click on the right answer okay so the right answer is all of this sun flame and bulb these are the sources of light okay then question number 2 which is the what is the spinning of the earth called so options are axis rotation revolution and orbit so spinning of the earth is called yes it's called rotation spinning of the earth around its axis is called rotation okay so the right answer is option b so i'm putting a tick on option b okay now question number 3 which among these is a star and the options are 
सन मून अर्थ एंड ओरायन विच अमंग दिस इज अ स्टार येस द राइट आंसर इज सन सन इज अ स्टार ओके सो आई एम पुटिंग अ टिक ऑन ऑप्शन ए दैट इज सन ओके सन इज अ स्टार नाउ मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन येस ट्रू और फॉल्स हियर यू कैन सी देर आर टू ऑप्शंस फॉर ईच क्वेश्चन ओके ट्रू और फॉल्स इफ द स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू यू आर गोइंग टू पुट अ टिक ऑन द ट्रू ऑप्शन ओके इफ द स्टेटमेंट इज फॉल्स और रॉ यू आर गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन द फॉल्स ऑप्शन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन a breeze gale and storm are kind kinds of wind and the options are true or false yes this statement is true statement so i am putting a tick on option a okay that is true option because this statement is true statement correct statement okay a breeze gale and storm are are kinds of wind okay then question number 2 the new moon shines brightly in the sky now tell me children this statement is true or false yes this statement is false statement because we cannot see moon on new moon day new moon means what no moon okay so this statement is wrong statement so i'm put thing a tick on option b that is false option okay yes now question number 3 the moon is a ball of rock that revolves around the earth yes this statement is true statement the moon is a ball of rock that revolves around the earth okay so i'm putting a tick on option a that is true option because this statement is correct statement okay true statement so option a is the right answer the moon is a ball of rock that revolves around the earth yes now question number 4 identify the given figures here picture or the figure will be given and you have to identify that picture okay and you are going to click on the right answer according to the picture given okay so the picture the in the first picture is water changes to ice when cooled okay here you can see one fridge and a ice tray right and the options are freezing melting evaporation and condensation and here you can see water changes to ice when cooled yes when water changes to ice that process is called freezing process right so i am going to put a tick on option a that is freezing okay here which process is is shown freezing process okay so i am putting a tick on option a that is freezing yes now next picture or next figure yes in the next picture what is shown water changes to water vapor when heated okay and the options are freezing evaporation melting and condensation so which process you can see here yes here you can see the process of evaporation when water changes to water vapor that process is called evaporation process right so i am going to put a tick on evaporation that is option b okay yes yes this is the next picture or next figure question number 3 okay yes and the options are great bear orion then hercules and none of the above so this picture is of constellation right 
So which constellation is shown in this picture? Yes, the right answer is Hercules. Okay, that is option C. Yes, option C is the right answer. Okay. Yes, now move to the next question. Answer in one sentence. Here also the four options are there and you are going to click on the right answer. Okay. Let's start. Question number one. What is rotation? And the options are the spinning of the earth around the sun. Option B. The spinning of the earth around its axis. Option C. The spinning of the sun around the earth. And the option D is the spinning of the moon around the sun. Now tell me children what will be the right answer? Yes, the right answer is the spinning of the earth around its axis is called rotation. Okay, so I am going to put a tick on option B. That is the spinning of the earth around its axis is called rotation. Okay. Yes. Move to the next question. In which season the days are shortest? And the options are the days are shortest during the summer season. Option B is the days are shortest during the winter season. Option C is the days are shortest during the rainy season. Option D is the days are of equal length in all the season. So children tell me what will be the right answer? In which season the days are shortest? Yes, the right answer is option B. The days are shortest during the winter season. And in which season the days are longest? Yes, the, the days are longest during the summer season. Right. So here, in which season the days are shortest? The right answer is option B. That is, the days are shortest during the winter season. Okay? Yes. Now, name the following. Here, you have to name the following. Okay? So here, first question is, Pattern of the stars in the sky. And the options are group, shapes, constellation and none of these. These are the four options and you have to choose the right answer among these four options. Okay. So, pattern of the stars in the sky is called? Yes, the right answer is constellation. Okay. So, I am going to put a tick on constellation children you all be ready with your answer before i tell the answer okay so pattern of the stars in the sky is called constellation okay yes the question number two is the hottest season and the options are rainy season winter season summer season or all of this Tell me which is the hottest season? Yes. In the summer season we feel so hot, right? So, summer season is the hottest season. Okay? Yes. So, option C is the right answer. So, I am going to put a tick on option C. That is summer season. Okay? Now, next one. Yes. Question number 7. Answer the following questions by choosing the correct option. Here 4 options are there for each question and you have to choose the right answer. Okay. So question number 1. What does the air contain? And the options are the air contains smoke and harmful gases. Option B is the air contains oxygen, carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Option C is the air contains water vapor, dust and germs. 
and option D is all of the above. So what does the air contain? You tell me. Yes, the air contain smoke and harmful gases as well as the air contain oxygen, carbon dioxide and nitrogen and the air contains water vapor and dust and germs too, right? So uh, the right answer is option D that is all of the above. Okay, so I am putting a tick on option D that is all of the above. Okay. Yes. Question number 2. Where do we get energy from? And the options are we get energy from the clothes we wear. Option B. We get energy from diesel. Option C is we get energy from the food we eat. And the option D is we get energy from petrol. So children tell me where do we get energy? Yes, we get energy from where do we get energy? We get energy from the food we eat. Right. Right. And our vehicles get energy from petrol, diesel. Right. So we get energy from the food we eat. That is option C. Okay. So, option C is the right answer. So, I am putting a tick on option C. Okay. In this way, you are going to choose the correct answer. Okay. Now, uh, read your science textbook. Go through the content thoroughly. Okay. Solve the textbook exercise. Go through all the diagrams and pictures in the from the textbook. Okay. So thank you and all the best for your exam.